What's up guys, Ralph and Jeremy's Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Crusader Kings 2. It's been a long time since we played this. It's been a long time since I played this, and I did watch the last video just to see what we were up to before we stopped. And it looked like we were just trying to uh, consolidate the realm a little bit. Um, You've got about. F uh, you want to kill Princess. You want to kill my daughter? Why? Stop that. Get a lot of money for him. Sure. And, okay, don't do that. Oh, you want to kill my aunt? Yeah, don't do that. Um, we've got about 13 years left until we've played 100 years in the game. Yep. Uh, it's in 1453. So about, actually, 1453? I think that's when the game starts. Um, so we'd have 20, 22 years to go. And we're probably going to play up until about, you know, we have 100 a years in a game played. I think that's a good, uh, good amount for this game. Otherwise, you just get kind of get, well, like, I have another game where I played until I had the Kingdom of Alba, or the, King, the, um, the Empire title. Of Brit of the Britannic Britannia, I can't figure it out for some reason. But uh, that's what me literally almost the entire game. So we're not gonna do that. Uh, charitable, my heir wants to be charitable. Absolutely sure. So I think right now what we're doing is we're just waiting on this guy to get a claim because I don't have the okay, so press Google claims I don't have the kingdom title yet for um Ireland right the need no it's let's see get Desmond right look at Desmond where's Ireland De jure. There it is. I would need. Yeah, I w I'll need more land before I can create that title. And uh, once I do create that title, we can just start declaring all sorts of crazy wars. Like, we can immediately go war Canacht, then war that, and war that. Because we won't have truces with anyone, because most of these guys are single provinces. And we'll just immediately pretty much sweep the entire thing, so. Right now, we're just waiting on some claims to come in. I don't believe anybody's really a threat to us right now. We do owe some money to some Jews. I got some... Let's see if we can marry my daughter off somewhere in Scotland. No, my half sister. Okay. Um, France. Twelve years old. Arrange a betrothal between you and my daughter. You would do it. All right, sweet. Let's get France in our pocket. Well, he will be in our pocket once uh, they come to age and he becomes the king. Hooray. Norway. How about you? Uh, another little boy. Uh, my other daughter? Sure. Uh, open council position. Alright, let's see. We are marshal. Get to this guy and we'll use train troops in the capital. 
I don't believe we have crazy revolt risk anywhere. Sweet. So now we're, we're just marrying off daughters to get uh, future alliances. A Jewish exile appeared. He would make a fine chancellor. Would he now? Shalom. His name is Shalom. That's great. Um, let's see. Council. He would, but we have somebody better. You. Claims. Uh. Sure. Claim Kanakt. He is like, she has, well, she has like no allies. I no longer have consumption. Okay, good. I didn't even realize that I was sick. Um, nope. Okay. My current mission is to improve my martial. How's my air looking? 94504. Not terrible. That, that diplomacy is real nice. But, kind of garbage. Um, I would ideally like his stewardship to be better. We have good stewardship too. We're a fortune builder, so he might get that plus six stewardship. But we need to raise that intrigue a tiny bit. Uh, otherwise, he might get like assassinated or something. It is consumption. Yeah, it's consumption going around, folks. It's disgusting. How my vassals looking? Um, lowest one is account for ten. You want to get Leinster. You are not going to get Leinster because you're going to end your plot. Yeah, didn't think so, Duke. My Dukes like me fairly well. The only lowest one is 43, is my uncle. Um, you, is there anything I could do to get you better? He's a title claimant, wants a duchy. Yeah. That's... I, I mean, you know what? If, if positive 10 is the worst relation I have, I'll, I'll take positive 10 as the worst. Uh, Finland looks all sorts of messed up. Falconer, huh? Get the Duke of plus 15 relations. Sweet. Sweden has just completely fallen apart. Satmi, Karelia. These guys are all independent. Well, is Cole independent? Yeah. He is completely independent, which is bonkers. My daughter wants to get married. Betrothed can marry. You're going to marry Scotland, so do that. Yes, I I will find you someone nice to marry. Don't worry. Right. Okay. Daughter. Unmarried. Say hey, Denmark. He's, nah, his heir's got a wife ready. And, and the king is only 26. He's going to live a fair amount of time. Uh, looks like Iberia's in some troubles. Marrying to Sicily, maybe? Let's see. Arrange betrothal between my him and my 24-year-old daughter. No. Age difference. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, the HRE. Can we marry into the HRE? Betrothed. Or the HRE is betrothed my daughter. Well. Uh, Leon. Can we marry into Leon? Um, it's got a lisp. Probably say no, just as a difference in age. Oh, they would. Oh, well. Alright, so in four years, they'll be married. And we'll have, actually, a decent set of alliances going on. We'll be add to France, the HRE, Leon, and there's one other one. We're already married to Scotland. We're going to have a lot of marriages. The Pope died. No, the Pope. 60 by a 77-year-old. Yeah, he's not going to last very long. Uh, Pope Constantine is slow. <laughs> what? 
Sh how the He's slow. The Pope is slow. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Pope Constantine is slow. Oh my god. That's amazing. The Pope. The Pope is slow. Oh my goodness. Title loss in succession. Yeah, some counties, whatever. They're not going to pass from my realm. Uh, my son lacks a guardian. Who's got low opinion? No, not you. The courtiers, courtiers, counts a count of Gwent. Welsh count? Sure. I'll take that deal. Count of Gwent. Count Cardog. Oh man. The fact that the Pope is slow, like maybe we can just, you know. Weasel some money out of it, right? That would be amazing. Let's see. He would say no. The Pope's like, no. I am slow, and you will get no money. Most serene Republic of Pisa, huh? It's a huge revolt. Holy crap. This celibate dude's leading this revolt. It's a lower crown authority, but the queen is kicking his ass right now. And there she goes. Wow, 19 year old queen, huh? Her heir. She's gonna have kids. Unless she. Oh, she's pregnant already. Unless she dies before. Yeah, Pope Constantine really. Really did not last very long. <laughs> Let's see, hold on. The papacy history. Constantine gets in on the 10th. Yeah. Yeah. He gets in uh, December 10th and dies five months later. You were Pope for five months, bud. And, uh, you sucked. This guy, stats-wise, is meh. But he likes us a lot. He's gregarious. And he's not slow. Not slow. Pleasures in life hedonism. Wait, what? Why is the Pope hedonic? What? Okay. The Pope is hedonic. Okay, there's a claim on a bishopric. Interesting. There's some uh, some real shenanigans going on with these popes, and uh, I'm not sure I like it. What's this? France is at war with nobody. Oh, his vassals must be at war. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my chancellor is just randomly stopping my chancellor. Alright, so let's use uh, the Jewish guy. Shalom. This is fucking name is Shalom. Jesus. Uh, fabricate a claim, please. And unlike my other chancellors, I would really appreciate it if you got this claim. Because uh, we could do with a war. We have 6k troops that are rebuilding. We're going to have about 7k. That seems a little low, actually, but, uh... Yeah, that seems a little low. Let's see. Why is this so low? My vassals like me pretty much. Pretty well. It's just, I don't know. I guess we just don't have a lot of uh, troops in the land. Uh, my wife is pregnant. Okay. I mean, I have enough kids, but uh, I am lustful, and so is she, but 
She's getting up there in age, so this might be one of the last kids she pops out. What are you getting invaded by? You are at war against Norway on a claim on Ross. And uh, it looks like you're going to lose that. Or, or not. I mean, or, or not. I mean, or not. This is because he has zero war score. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, if you call me and I'll, I'll kick some Norwegian ass, I don't mind. What I would really like is if uh, these two provinces revolted. Uh, then I could press my de jure claims on them, because right now I really can't. England's got 13k troops. I've got 7. I mean, I could hire a bunch of mercs with this 10, that with this 1,000 gold I have. We actually make good money, don't we? Yeah, 13 a month. Not bad. I would really like if England would... Just revolt. If England had a, a bit of a revolt. Let's see, does anybody like this guy? Uh, the, uh, the king. His vassals... The Duke of Wessex hates him, but everyone else really likes him. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Oh, Scotland declared the war. Oh. I see. So Scotland has got three and a half K with 330 gold. One and a half. Yeah, Scotland's going to win that. He just more gold and more troops, and Norway would have to sail troops over here to fight Scotland, and I'm sure he's not really... Uh, let's fight. After ordering your guards back, you join the wild melee. As the ruffians are wearing your present, gang up on you, but you are still able to hold your own. You dodge the blows and land seven of your own. Damn. We are badass. And we got our uh, martial ability up to eight. So now, we got a son. Our wife had a son. I have a son. So now the kid. Come on, you have an 18 percent chance. You have a one in five shot. Essentially, it's a little less than that. You have a, a roundabout one in five shot to get this claim. Can you just do it? You know, as as Shia LaBeouf said, just do it. You know, yesterday you said tomorrow, so just do it, right? And I'd really appreciate it if you could do that, because it would make my life a lot easier than... If you, well, you want to claim the Petty Kingdom, I would... Uh, no, nah, we're going to give our son Patient, because Roth is crap. Patient's much better. He's got a lot of diplomacy. This kid's coming out real good. And if you want to give me the claim on the Petty Kingdom, your heir is not of your dynasty. My uncle wants to get married. Now here's a thought. Um, could gain an intrigue. Yeah, sure. Could I kill the husband and the boy... Marry her to my dynasty and inherit the land? Let's see. Would anyone back me in this? Um, I could get... 35% plot power from bribes. Nah, not enough people would really back me in that endeavor to make it worth it. <sighs> Offer of vassalization. Foreign culture, yep. Yeah.
So we're going to end that plot just because no one's really going to join it. Which is unfortunate. I mean, I could, I could probably kill the boy. I mean... I mean, we can do it. Just talk that's child, and then maybe... I don't know. I mean, I am fabricating on Kanakta anyway. So maybe I shouldn't just start wildly murdering children. But everyone else is led... Oh, Brian is led by a female. But she has four boys. Um, anyone else here led by a female? You. And you only have two children. She's too old to have more kids is the issue. We need someone young like her. Who... My daughter needs tutoring. Young like her with no heir that we can just marry her off to... one of my boys, and then they'd have an heir of my dynasty, and then we could do some shenanigans that way. But the issue with that is... I mean, if I kill the boy, I wonder who would become the heir. Maybe the husband? That's what I'm wondering. Maybe, you know, because nobody wants to murder this guy. He's got 21 marshal. But uh, we might be able to pull some factions. My uncle, the one I let out of prison, who likes me 49. Yeah, sure. I don't want to lose kind. Kind is too good. You have an honor, it's hard already. Um, now. Yeah, I don't know who would become the heir, because they don't have another boy. They don't have any other children, actually. I don't think we need to bribe anyone, but if it's 20 gold for 35% plot power, eh. If the plot fails, then we'll, we'll bribe her, but for now we don't need to. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to, like, murder all these boys and then inherit. She's 42 anyway. Yeah, I mean, we could do some shenanigans, but I think we're just going to have to wait for those claims to come in. Sweden, is, or Scotland over there is kicking some ass right now. You, oh my goodness. She's probably going to be mad, yeah, he's probably going to be mad, even though he's zero years old, but I don't know how he has an opinion of me, oh, he's one, excuse me, he's one years old, attempted murder, yeah, this guy still likes me, he's like, eh, you tried to kill my kid, but, I mean, eh, I should just kill you instead, but whatever, I could theoretically kill the mother, and then the boy would inherit, and then I don't know, I could matrilineally marry him to one of my girls, maybe? I doubt they would take a matrilineal marriage just because they're a ruler, so they probably really wouldn't want to Take a matrilineal marriage. Oh, excuse me. You probably wouldn't want to take a matrilineal marriage because rulers tend not to take those, just because that means the title's more likely to pass in their hands. Which I mean, I guess is kind of the point. But yeah, Norway or Sweden's really kicking Norway's ten ways from Sunday right now. Forty-one percent war score. I'm surprised he hasn't just pieced him out. 
But uh, I think that's going to be all the time we have for this episode today. I'm sorry it was kind of more of a boring episode. Nothing really happened. But, uh... Oh, actually, no, I won in the episode there because we're about to assassinate someone. Let's see. I swear, if this plan to assassinate a one-year-old fails... A one-year-old. Right? A one-year-old. That's just going to be embarrassing. Yeah, well, we got caught, but, uh, so who's the heir now? The Countess of Dublin. Why? It's her sister, isn't it? Maybe. Hmm. I guess that really doesn't change anything. That really didn't do a whole lot. Still, nobody's gonna join me, right? Oh, this guy will for 22. So that'll bring us up to 76. We can get to 96 and 106. Hmm. The 70 and 90 gold. I mean, it might be worth it, just because we can murder her, and then I have... Do I have any unmarried boys? My son is about to come of age. Now, this opens up a whole inching line. I'm going to end the episode here, and the next episode, we're going to take a look at potentially espionaging our way into uh, owning Kanat. And uh, I'll see you next time.